Well, good morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on August 30th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. Looking at severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. Looking here at our sun first. Able to see here the plasma under this particular camera. Thank you to Solar Dynamics Observatory for producing these images for us. And we don't have much to talk about except for the coronal hole, which is now Earth facing. We're expecting the solar winds to increase over the next little, over the next 12 hours as that incoming coronal hole wind stream will be affecting us. But there are still no sunspots to talk about. Very quiet sun. Looking here at the real time solar wind as the solar winds have picked up to 412 kilometers per second. Small spike in the density. Overlooking earthquakes this is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Most recent here with a 4.8 in Bosnia at a seven kilometer depth. Largest earthquake overnight, 5.3 mid-Atlantic Ridge. Also 4.7 here in Panama. Old Faithful Geyser in Wyoming. And then watching this uptick in seismicity throughout Alaska. Whitler, Alaska. And as well moving west in the Aleutian Islands. And north. So we saw this kind of activity before our large March 11th, 2011 earthquake in Japan. So please stay aware and prepared. We're watching this scenario unfold again. 4.9 here in Indonesia, Samlaki. As well as South America, rocking 4.7 in Chile. And 4.2 in Indon or Argentina. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes. Not many deep earthquakes as of late. Those were all later last week. But still watching the quiet zone here in North America. Please stay aware and prepared. This is not over. Let's go to the disaster center and look at our latest updates for volcanoes from around the world. So Dukano got an update 13 minutes ago. As well as Sangang. Popo, Sabankaya, Shivaluch, Asosan in Japan, Fuego in Guatemala, Reventador, Ecuador, Era in Japan, Nevados de Chilean, Epico, and Sange. So we definitely did see an increase in volcanism around the world, as a lot of volcanoes are getting updates today. Just overlooking the map here to see if there's anything particular to talk about. And of course there is. We've got Hurricane Dorian who is now Category 2 on its way to Florida Panhandle. Category 2 could strength, most likely will, sorry, strengthen to a Category 4 by the time it makes landfall Sunday into Monday. So there are some models that are showing it's going to go a little bit north to Fort Lauder Lauderdale, Orlando area. And there are some models saying that it's going to go straight to Miami. And I think it's going to go straight to Miami and then jet straight north up the Florida, Pan Florida Panhandle into the Carolina states. So stay aware and prepare to all my friends and family. Southeast coast of the United States. As well, our Dew Crew member, Dan, who is in Florida, getting ready to embrace Hurricane Dorian. 
as a Category 4. So stay safe, everyone. Overlooking NASA Worldview here, I wanted to show you the size of this low-pressure system that is now over Hudson's Bay. It is massive. Massive. And just watch for that cycle to continue and grow over the next couple months. Nothing major to look at over South America. Atlantic Ocean, you can see here the dust storms that came off of Africa. And then of course we've got Hurricane Dorian right here, who's still not very organized, but is a category two. Watching in behind it, there is another low coming behind. Five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean right now, and you can see another large low pressure system. Northern Hemisphere getting ready to hammer the Alaskan Peninsula. And then that large low over the Hudson Bay. Too low, too dense to go anywhere. And you can see it gets stuck over the bay again. Starting to bring down those really cool temperatures. Northwest Territories receiving snow in the five-day forecast. Throughout Alberta, we've still got warm Chinook winds hanging out during the day. Southern Alberta. Northern Alberta really started to get cool with some rain. So looking here at Hurricane Dorian. And as a category two storm, she has sustained winds of 167 kilometers per hour. Wind gusts of 180 kilometers an hour. This is going to be a big storm. So please share this channel, share this update with your friends and family so they can stay aware and prepared. Overlooking Europe, large lows hammering the United Kingdom and a quite a strong high moving in from Spain. It's going to drop a lot of thunderstorms throughout Romania, Italy. So watch for atmospheric compression event throughout this region as they will see some heavy rains and thunderstorms later in the week. Overlooking Africa and the Atlantic Ocean, quite possibly a monster hurricane dropping off the coast of Africa later next week. We're gonna be keeping an eye on that one for sure. In like a lamb and out like a lion with our Atlantic hurricane season. South America, still no relief in sight. Now let's get to the Southern Hemisphere. And parts of Auckland and New Zealand embracing a very large, almost cyclone. Later in the week, large low pressure system developing here. It's going to have a lot of rain and wind. Downgraded cyclone. We'll see what happens in the next few days. It could be upgraded. There could be a full-blown cyclone hitting New Zealand. Not much to talk about in Australia. Leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus our Northern Hemisphere. A lot is changing and these lows are getting bigger and stronger. Thank you for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.